you to pull your punch and just you know pull it, which means don't hit me. Okay. She didn't know that. And she hit you. She hit me. And the next thing I know, I looked up and saw my cameraman. Oh, I said, wow. what happened? He goes, uh, you were hit. Oh, wow. It wasn't good. All right, let's get the boxers in the ring. All right, let's be first as he makes his way to the blue corner. All right. The former WBO and NBO lightweight champion from Rain, Louisiana. Rock hard, mighty Mason Menard. Mason Menard might have the knockout of the year over Yuri Bernardo. Oh, man. I mean, Bernardo was out long before his head hit the canvas. It's like that. Mason's a tough guy. Interesting that Todd Manuel, who's already fought, is carrying Bernard's belt as they walk in the ring. <laughs> okay. Look, Manuel has enough energy for everybody. My man's positive Paul. <laughs> Mason Menard walked in five and three in title fights. He's got 10 first round knockouts and a whopping 99 wins as a pro and an amateur. So he has been very, very busy in his career. 15 year pro, 32 years old. He gets it how he lives. I like that. He's gonna fight, he's gonna step up to the plate. He's gonna take the challenges and that's what a real champion do. Champion isn't always defined by a belt. It's a mindset and, a, and it's a mentality. Well, he is going to have his hands filled tonight. And now, his, opponent. his undefeated opponent making his way to the ring. He's got a big Bravo, crowd contingent Bravo, here. Puerto Rico. Christian. Christian. El Hijo de Pueblo. It's been here oh my in gosh, arena. this is amazing. You would think we were in like yeah. Barclays or something. <laughs> so Christian Tapia, a pro record hey. of 11 and 0, 10 knockouts. So this will be very interesting to see how this one comes out. Tapia's last fight March of 2020. Oh, Fourth round knockout of Carlos Colon at Bali in Atlantic City. I don't know. He's showing up. He got a rapper and everything. I, I want a rapper. Me too. I want a rapper from now on. Wherever I go, I want a rapper to leave my... When I play golf, I want a rapper to introduce me on the first piece. All right, so... Tapia being let in by a rapper. Yep. Six great stoppages for First main event fight. Longest fight in four rounds. This one is scheduled for ten. The longest fight is four rounds. It's giving me Berlinga. 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 The, the other, he's another uh, prospect. Okay. Bravo! Well, both fighters now in the ring. Momentarily, we'll have Mark Prado with the introductions. This should be a great main event. Let's head to the ring announcer, Mark Prado. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Soboto Hotel here on the boardwalk in the historic fight capital of Atlantic City. This is your main event of the evening, hard boxing on Flow Sports Fight Night Live. This contest scheduled for 10 rounds. It will be contested for the WBA and ABA Super Featherweight Championship. Brought to you by Hard Hitting Promotions and presented by Shatson Steinberg, Novus Truck Parts, Custom Auto Luxury, WR Trucking, Soul Botanicals, Zaragoza Equipment, Green Tree Mortgage, Rico Demolition, 
Eat Clean Bro. If you're a pro in training or you just want to eat like a world champion, check out Eat Clean Bro. Elite Heat Water, the best fighters, trainers, and announcers just drank the water. And the Shell Boat Hotel, more than a place to stay, a place to play. Our main event is sanctioned by the North American Boxing Association. The president is George Martinez. It's also sanctioned by the New Jersey Athletic Control Board. The commissioner, Hall of Famer Larry Hazard Sr., the chairman, Tony Orlando, Stephen Katz, board member. The judges scoring our main event title contest, Deborah Barnes, Mark Constantino, and Robin Taylor. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, the referee in charge is Alan Huggins. And now, live from the showboat here in Atlantic City, 10 rounds for the WBA and ABA Super Featherweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, it's go time! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at a 129 and one quarter pounds. He has an outstanding veteran professional record. 36 victories, five defeats, 25 wins by way of knockout. He wears black with pink and yellow, and fights out of Rain, Louisiana. Please welcome the former WBO and ABO lightweight champion, rock hard, mighty Mason Menard. His opponent is undefeated, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at an even and ready 130 pounds. As a professional, his resume stands with 11 victories, zero defeats, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He wears blue with white and is accompanied in his corner by the legendary Joey I. He hails from Coamo, Puerto Rico. Vamos a caballeros, Cristian, el hijo de Pueblo. All right, so the bout has been set, the main event, the WBA and NABA Super Featherweight title on the line, and your referee tonight will be Alan Huggins for the championship match. Gentlemen, you both received your instructions addressing you. Obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. This is a little high, we're going to keep everything above here is fair. You're about good. Touch gloves, let's go. Alan Huggins has given his instructions. Franchon, here we go. The title Let's bout. Get it. Mason looks in great shape. He's giving rock hard. Round one scheduled for 10. Tapia has not gone past four rounds. Well, you know it, it's the first time for everything. This is his first <laughs> title fight. The first time he's been a main event. But this ain't his first rodeo, so. Tapia, the crowd favorite tonight. Man, I think I'm deaf in one ear. That's how lit yeah. the crowd was. From Cuomo, That's Puerto Rico. <laughs> That's an amazing feeling. And speaking of feeling, Mason and Tapia are feeling each other out this first round. Trying to see if what it's really about. And Alan Huggins says, no, we're not going to do that. Separate and let's go again. Nice. Tapia. Oh, tap. Nice right hand. The overhand right finds Monar. Tapia has found a sweet spot. Using his speed. Feet. In the early going, Tapia has found his range and beating Menard to the punch. Yeah, he's not he's not waiting. Again, Tapia, 11 0 with 10 knockouts. 27 year old, fifth year in the pro ranks. Well, it's good development. This is only his, this is his third opponent. 
who has a 50 plus record. But I mean, he's getting in there with someone who has great experience. A win over Mason would definitely raise his profile. Mason Menard, last time out, was a loss, a majority decision loss to Emmanuel Pago in Florida back in November of 2020. Well, it's good he was staying active, even though 2020 of November, I mean, November of 2020 is a ways back, but to get a fight in 2020 is still a blessing. Yeah, yeah. A difficult year for all sports, especially boxing. So we're back. We're back. We're lit. Atlantic City, Car Hunting Promotions, Fight Night Live on Flow Combat. This is the seventh and final bout, and this is a championship bout. The WBA and NABA Super Featherweight title on the line. Yes, sir. Tapia, I'm going to give the early edge to here. Mason didn't come to lay down. Like, he's not here to, to just lay down. He's very game. Ten seconds to go here in this first round. And Renard takes a shot from the solar plexus. Two extra punches thrown. And we'll take a timeout here. It is Pro Sports Fight Night Live. Tonight's hard-hitting promotions, Fight Night Live event, airing exclusively on Flow Combat, is presented by Zaragoza Equipment. Schatz and Steinberg, Attorneys at Law. Novus Truck Parts. Rico Demolition. Soul Botanicals, the finest kratom on the planet. Will Ruiz, WR uh, Trucking. And Custom Auto Luxury. In association with Green Tree Mortgage Company. Round two, Mason Menard and Christian Tapia. I would give Tapia the edge in round number one. Yeah. Once he found his reign and he started letting his combinations go, he was beating Mason to the punch. Mason's looking to redeem himself this second round. He's scheduled for a 10-rounder. And when you're fighting someone who's used to going long rounds, sometimes it takes a little longer to warm up. Alan Huggins wants Tapia to raise those punches up just a bit. Ooh. Tapia in the corner now. Menard trying to find his range. Tapia working the body and then the head. Throwing short uppercut. And you can tell Tapia is pretty strong. Nice uppercut with a hook and a short shot. Christian Tapia, six straight stoppage wins, 4-0 record in Puerto Rico, 6-0 in Philadelphia, 1-0 in Atlantic City. Well, Mason's been in there with some current world champions, so he's had his, you know, walk around the block, Unfortunately, he suffered a first round KO to Teofima Lopez. And it looks like he might get a KO right now. Tapia working now on Menard against the ropes. Oh, man. Two straight right hands to the chin. Tapia now, the left and the right to the body. The crowd wants blood. Right hand, left hand. Menard just taking the punches and comes out of it. And try to sneak a shot in. It's not looking too good, backing up on the rope. But he's a veteran, so he's trying to use KZ Trick. Nice right cross right there, and an uppercut, and that puts Menard on the canvas. He is down on his stomach. The cap from Alan Huggins, and this one's over. Christian Tapia with a knockout of Mason Menard.
and Tapia moves to 12 and 0 with 11 knockouts. What a heck of a combination. That gave me Bernard Hopkins. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Look here on the replay. You can see Tapia loading on a shot. Mason backing up to the rope. Caught with a short overhand. Oh. And from there, it was just chaos. It was an onslaught. The uppercut put Menard down and put him down for good. He is still on his back. And now they're attending to him. And Mason Menard moves to 36 and six. That's still, a, that's still a, not a bad record. I mean, because- Not a bad record, but he doesn't feel that good right now. Yeah. That's a heck of a punch combo from Christian Tapia. As I said, now moved to 12 and 0 with 11 knockouts. I love the combination, how he put everything together. It was very strategic. Several shots to the left part of the head, the right part of the head, and then the uppercut did the final damage. And so Christian Tapia now. Here's one more look, Franchon. One more look at the knockout. Yeah. Mason was in there trying to fight, but Tapia's punches was a little too hard and he sucked that body shot. You can, you can plan for face shots and chin shots, but those body shots are crazy. The Christian, El Hijo del Pueblo Tapia, which means the son of the people, and certainly a popular victory here in Atlantic City. Let's set up to the ring and Mark Prado. Ladies and gentlemen, your official time, two minutes, 34 seconds in round number two. Your winner by knockout, still undefeated, and the new WBA and EBA Silver Featherweight Champion from Coamo, Puerto Rico. Christian El Hijo de Pueblo Tapia! Well, he came in, he saw, and he conquered Franchon. He did what a champion can do. He wins the super featherweight title, the WBA and NABA title. He gets the belt with a heck of a knockout from a veteran. Yeah, I mean, when you want to go for those titles, that's your opportunity to make the statement. I think that was made tonight. And now he's in a ranking. Now he can go for a major title. And he's a problem. <laughs> he's a problem. The people love him. He gets great action in the ring. I'm looking forward to seeing him on the next fight. The crowd loves him and he loves the crowd. Christian Tapia gets the victory by knockout over Mason Menard. That was just one heck of a combo and ending. It was a well-placed body shot. That was nasty. I like it. Nasty. That's a good word for it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look back at this uh, entire two rounds. Christian Tapia and Mason Menard. Oh, yeah, right here. Mason was trying to exchange with them. And this is where he found his friends. They felt each other out. And then Tapia just mashed him again. He was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and go to work. He saw that he could outspeed him. He saw that he could set up the shots and meet him with the punches. And once he saw that opening in the second round, it was all down here for Mason, unfortunately. Up against the ropes, left and right, and then the uppercut. And that just looks painful. You can see when the tides changed, he caught Mason and that short overhand. Then he came with the uppercut Ooh. body. Oh, it was over. I'm not sure what hurt worse, the uppercut or the body shot? The body shot. Yeah. I seen his face. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Tapia now wins the title belt. Moves to 12 and 0. 11 knockouts. We'll what see what a heck next. of a night. I have to give it to him. This has been a great card. 
Shout out to Hard Hit Promotions, the matchmaker, the fighters, everybody involved. There's been some great matches. As you take a look at Christian Tapia, they're looking for the belt. He wants the belt. So Christian Tapia is your winner. One heck of a fight. Didn't take long, but it was efficient. And Tapia with a knockout of Mason Rockhard Mighty Menard. Not so mighty tonight, but Christian. El Hijo de Pueblo Tapia with the victory and earns the belt, the super featherweight title, WBA, NABA. Boxing in Atlantic City, French on. This was one heck of a night. Yes, I just want to say shout out to the fans, shout out to the people who came out, tuning in to Fight Night Live, shout out to all the fighters, and tune in next show. We're lit. Have a good night. Seven bouts on the docket, a lot of good boxing. Brendan O'Callaghan with his first professional fight and his first win. And then it ends with Christian Tapia getting the victory over Mason Menard. Oh. For Flow Sports, hard hitting promotions for Franchon, Cruz Fisher, and Chick Hernandez. <laughs> What's your next fight? Sooner than later. Wait, no, 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 no. I want to know can't. now. You Good can't. Night, guys. You Good can't. Night. See how Good it is? Night. Now, she's, she's going to punch me when we get off the air, but that's okay. But we thank you for watching for Flow Sports Fight Night Live from Atlantic City. We appreciate your watching. Tremendous bouts here in Atlantic City. This is where many championship bouts have been fought. You saw some future stars tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.